How we doing guys, Dime DG here, and today Manchester United take defeat at Real Madrid 2-0 today. I'm going to talk about, I just watched the highlights. I did not watch the game. I was going to do a watch along for the game today, but I got called into work, and yeah, I want to make some money. So, make sure you guys smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate the support. Appreciate the support on the last video as well. My second channel will be the first link in the description down below. And without any further ado, let's get into it. So now, looking at the highlights, I just looked at the highlights. Um, Jude Bellingham's first goal when he scored in the sixth minute. When Jude Bellingham scored, the offsides line was terrible. That trap was garbage. And he just went through, went around though, now and just dinked him. So basically, it was a bad start from the beginning. Just like pretty much in the other game. It's pretty much deja vu. You got in the last game. I know it was the under-21 team, but you, it still plays into that context. You got Dan Gore getting a red card. And all this stuff, all this stuff is happening. So that's two preseason games back-to-back -back that we lost. Kids lost and the and the main team lost today to Real Madrid. Um, and it is what it is. It's preseason. So this is pretty much how the season is going to go. Because I already know what it's going to be next season, right? We're going to win a few games. Yeah, we're going to win. People are going to say we're back. We're doing this. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the Champions League. Um, all this stuff. We're going to win the treble. We're going to do all this stuff. Next season is going to be pretty much the same thing. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs. It's going to be a lot of nonsense. It's going to be a lot of nonsensical calls, just like last season. So people better get ready because it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Um, when you look at Real Madrid's team, honestly, they bought in Jude Bellingham. They bought in Jose Lu. They have a pretty good team. So, I mean, their team is still pretty strong. Um, Modric is aging, but Modric is still playing very, very well. Crew. So all these guys are still playing well at like in their mid-30s. Absolute insanity. Um... And yeah, other than that, I mean, when you when you look at the game in the contrary, it's hard to really gauge games off of highlights because I've noticed that now the now that I work at a, a stadium and stuff, and I actually watch full games in person, it's hard harder to judge games off of highlights. You actually have to see how a player plays in a full ninety minutes because they could just put on the highlights of them scoring, and you'll think they had a crazy game, but they could have just scored and did nothing for the rest of the game. So. You have to judge players based off of 90 minutes of football. Because if you judge them off of highlights, a lot of players would be hella good. So, but yeah, Jude Bellingham is what it is. He scored. And then Joe Sedlou with the bicycle kick. You got Brandon Williams at left back. You got him sleeping on the job. I mean, wide open. I mean, wide open bicycle kick. He had so much time to header it or do whatever. And he chose to do that bicycle kick. So, it was absolute insanity, but it's nothing new. Like I said, it's going to be the same thing next season. Ten Hag got a, Ten Hag got a pass last season because it's his first season. If Ten Hag does not perform this season, the Glazers are still here, right? Even though people are saying Glazers out and all this stuff, if we don't do something next season, right? If we wouldn't have won the Cup this season, people would have looked at the season like, eh, because we would have just got top four. I don't know what this obsession is with top four. Like, it, I think Arsene Wenger and other people did that with this top four thing. People are like, oh, top four is better than the trophy. Why are you going into the Champions League if we're not going to win it? Like, we're not winning the Champions League next season. I, I don't think so. I, no. I, I, people can say, oh, you're, you're being a downer. It's all this stuff. But at the end of the day, I've, I've been in this too long. I've been in this for 10 years. I've seen the ups and downs of Manchester United. It's the same patterns over and over. And when you start to see those patterns... You'd be like, okay, this going into this next season, I already know what it's going to be, right? Anthony's probably going to have a good season. Um, Lissandro Martinez will have a good season. Casemiro's probably going to have a really good season. Rashford will probably have a good season. Sancho, all these guys. Greenwood is most likely going to come back. I'm still holding out on that. I still say he will come back probably at some point at the beginning of the season it's a good chance he's going to come back. And if he does come back, he's going to have a good season. So, based on all of that, I mean, it is what it is, man. And, you know, going into next season, it's going to be pretty much the same roller coaster ride. With Real Madrid, it's a preseason friendly. It is what it is. Based on that, I mean, you can't really gauge Ten Hag on that or Onana based on how Onana is going to play or whatever. It's a, it's a preseason friendly game. So, you have to give it till next season. But I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section what you think. But I already know what next season is going to be. It's going to be the Yo-Yo roller coaster ride, just like last season. It's going to be a lot of, oh, we win. Oh, Ten Hag's the best manager ever, and then we lose. Oh, he's garbage now. I, I don't, I don't like that. You, you got to keep, you got to stand on your square. I like Ten Hag. I'm standing on my square. 
I stand on my square. I think Mason Greenwood's going to come back next season. I'm standing on my square. I have not changed my opinion. People change their opinions every day. Be a man and stand on your square. That That's it. Just stand on what you think. And I think a lot of people have a lot of, of trouble doing that. Why? I don't know. Because they feel like of, of other people's opinions or people are going to judge them or something. And it really doesn't matter. So, let me know down below in the comment section what you think of Manchester United ver or Real Madrid versus Manchester United. Whatever. Back-to-back -back preseason game losses. Not really reading that much into it. Maybe you guys are. It is what it is. Under-21s playing against Wrexham. We lost 3-1. And then we lost today 2-0. So, in two games we scored one goal. It is what it is, guys. Let me know down below what you think. Yeah. Same stuff. Click on my content up here, guys. Really do appreciate the support. Video should be up here somewhere. Much love, guys. Subscribe to the channel. It's been a good time to see you guys. And I'm out. Have a good night.